ideal playlist of quintessential ghetto blasters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 David Guetta songs. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Number 10, Who's That Chick, featuring Rihanna. Originally produced for Riri's album Loud, this track ultimately failed to make the cut, but finally became a definitive get a blaster when it was included on One More Love in 2009 and dropped as a single in late 2010. Conceptually, this song has Rihanna drinking that Grey Goose and ready to get low on that dance floor. So yeah, maybe the track doesn't have the usual Geta energy, but it's still a decent enough club song to help you get some dance floor action. And that's all that really matters. Number 9. Where Them Girls At, featuring Flo Rida and Nicki Minaj. For the lead single off his fifth album, David Guetta focused less on the notion of one singular woman and gave more attention to the collective ladies of the world. In the first half, Flo Rida drops a Blow My Whistle lyric while referencing his mad bankroll. And then Nicki Minaj jumps in for a short story ranging from Peebo Bryson to indoor football. At the heart of the matter, however, is the ultimate question for anybody willing to spit out aggressive game in the style of guest vocalists. Number 8, Play Hard featuring Akon and Neo. Come on, baby, and drop it. Rub the flow and just mop it. Show these gangsters how you pop lock it. Don't care what you got in your pocket. With a poignant opening line, this track sets the tone for a simple concept. Work hard, play hard. Work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. We work hard, play hard, keep partying like it's your job. Ew. Sure, the music video doesn't exactly offer the most enlightening vision of Mexico, but with a nasty beat and both Akon and Neo rattling off the specifics of a hustler's lifestyle, there's really only so much you can squeeze into a three and a half minute banger. With a sample courtesy of Alice DJ's Better Off Alone, David Guetta once again proved that he's a musical force to be reckoned with. Number 7, Hey Mama featuring Nicki Minaj, BB Rexa, and Afrojack. Yes, I be a woman. Yes, I be a baby. Yes, I be whatever that you tell me when you're ready. Marking the third collab between the French DJ and Nicki Minaj, Hey Mama essentially provides everyone with a free pass to get wild, as this song doesn't necessarily thrive by way of transcendent lyrics, but rather via the experience itself. Hey Mama is a beloved banger and should be embraced as such. In other words, nobody really cares when Nicki Minaj says because there's a larger truth at work here, much like another Get A Minaj production, Turn Me On. Number 6, Love Is Gone featuring Chris Willis. The concept has been tackled many times, but never quite like this. Featuring the chaotic vocals of one Chris Willis, Love Is Gone has a touch of that mid-90s European house magic, albeit with that unique Geta technique.
The song doesn't simply convey the idea that love is gone, it says, yo, love is gone, so what you gonna do? Or, you know, something of that ilk. In essence, David Guetta makes dance floor hits just like any other DJ, only his songs typically slap you across the face and reach into your soul. You love it, don't ya? Number 5. Love Don't Let Me Go David Guetta went all emotional on us with this song, laced with man tears and pure feelings. Long before North Americans demanded some of those Guetta bangers, he and frequent collaborator Chris Willis had Europeans dancing and crying thanks to this repetitive Electro House production. Sure, the frenetic beat of Love Don't Let Me Go doesn't necessarily reflect a trip to the shrink, but just imagine someone all hopped up on pills and sweating out buckets of emotions. You've seen them. Hell, you might even be one of those people yourself, dripping with sweat and rubbing all over everybody at the club. Hey, we're not judging. Number 4, Sexy Bitch, featuring Akon. Yes, I can see ya. Cause every girl in here wanna be ya. In late night club theory, somewhere in between the sweaty hot mess and dry but uptight patron is that special type of individual known as the sexy bitch. Or should we say, the sexy chick. With this controversial hit, David Guetta captures the essence of what every man or woman often finds themselves thinking at certain moments in life, but can't find the courage to say the words. I'm trying to find the words to describe this girl without being disrespectful. And it's Akon who drives home the message with clarity in this classic Guetta case study of mind boners. Number 3, When Love Takes Over, featuring Kelly Rowland. It's complicated, it always is, that's just the way it goes. When a former Destiny's Child member heard a Geta instrumental in the south of France, a euphoric digital age classic was born. And probably a few babies too when all was said and done. Can't you see me here on overload, this time I blame you. Let's say this. You're simply a bad person if you're not moved by the vocals and musical arrangement of When Love Takes Over. It's timeless, and it's the international anthem for living in the moment. Oh, and perhaps unsurprisingly, it also marked a turning point in the career of both artists. Number 2, Without You, featuring Usher. I can't win, I can't reign, I will never win this game without you, without you, without you. Opening with the hushed and contained vocals of Usher Raymond, here's a get a jam that builds slow and takes its time massaging the senses of listeners. It's sort of like musical foreplay only to ultimately convey the message of can't we all get along. And yes, David Guetta, we can. Large in part to your glorious codependent production that lifts up the spirits and exemplifies the beauty of a shared experience. Naturally, this track became a worldwide sensation and get his highest charting single on the Billboard charts. I will never be the same without you. Without you, without you, without you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I did tonight. 
Number 1. Titanium featuring Sia. You shot it. With all due respect to the various Geta collaborators, there's nobody quite on par with Sia, at least in terms of composing and singing their own lyrics. And while there's plenty of Geta blasters all about having fun, Titanium operates on a higher level with lyrics of personal self-worth, and certainly through the musical acumen on Mr. Geta himself. Katy Perry actually declined a guest vocal on this track, but as fate would have it, a songwriter named Sia earned her first number one hit, thus capitalizing on her own words and paving the way for the album's seventh and final single, She Wolf. So, do you agree with our selections? What is your favorite David Guetta song? For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, hey.